Okay, we're going to uh, talk about calendar sharing, setting up calendar sharing so somebody can, can see my calendar, see what's going on, and possibly they'll also be able to edit those, those items uh, and add items to my calendar. So what we got to do is, uh, obviously we've got to go to calendar, and over on the left side there's, there's a couple of um, options here, some links. Um, it's real easy. You click share my calendar. It brings up a kind of an email um, box and we'll just put in the list of people we want to share our calendar with. I want to share mine right now with Angie. So I'm going to hit choose and put in Angie's email address. I can put in multiple email addresses here if I want. Um, I'm going to put request permission I can put request permission to view recipient's calendar as well. So I'm going to share my calendar and also request that I can see her calendar. Um, right now I'm not going to request permission uh, to view her calendar, but we can. Uh, basically, that's the that's how you share the calendar. Uh, that's pretty easy and simple. All we have to do now is hit send. So now I've, I've shared the calendar. Um, she should be able to see it. She's only able to see it she's not able to add add any items to it so what I need to do now is if I want her to be able to edit my calendar or, or add items you know add meetings into my calendar for me I have to click on right click on my calendar over here and if I come down to properties it'll bring up the properties dialog box and I can click on permissions to be able to see the permissions of people who have access to my calendar so um, Angela, she has a permission level of reviewer. As you can see down here, um, here's the permission levels and what they have access to this person. So she has no right access. She can view the calendar and she can see all the details. If I click none, she'll be able to see um, the calendar, but she won't be able to see the, the details about it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say full details so she can review and, and be able to see where what I'm doing. Um, She'll be able to know that I'm in a training or I'm at a meeting, what what meeting I'm at exactly. Um, so there, there's other options here, so other permission levels here as well. You can uh, be a publishing editor, which gives you pretty much um, close to ownership uh, rights, but not quite. She's not able to delete the calendar. She's not able to create... Um, she's not the folder contact or the calendar contact, but um, and then editor is similar, but she's not able to create subfolders or is in create new calendars. Uh, publishing author has uh, she's able to create new 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 events, uh, new calendars uh, for me, and she's able to edit her own uh, events as, that she put in. That so she puts in a meeting request for, or a meeting for me. And she's able to edit that. So say somebody calls up and says, hey, I need to have a meeting with so-and-so or with Joel. And she'll put in that in my calendar. And then they call back and say, I got to cancel that meeting. So she can go in and cancel that meeting for me. Or if they say, I got to just have it at a different time, she can go in and put it at a different time for me. Um, that's what an author, the publishing author does. Um, author is similar. Uh, they just don't have the opportunity, the rights to create a new calendar or subfolder for me. Um, and they're also able to delete those items like we said before. Uh, this is probably one of the more common ones, um, in my opinion, is is the author, uh, possibly publishing author, but I mean, it's really nobody's really creating sub calendars. Um, a non-editing author would be able to create items, but they're not going to be able to edit them. Uh, a reviewer we already talked about, and a contributor will be able to create items. Um, won't be able to see what's happening and they'll be able to, they won't be able to delete anything. So we're going to go ahead and say author, make her author and now she'll be able to uh, when she clicks new appointment she'll be able to put in a new appointment for me and and be able to edit them. So that's the uh, the hard hardest parts of, of setting up a, a shared calendar which hopefully is pretty simple and hope you have fun with that.